Riley and I wanted to do a lot of day trip activities around Sydney before the winter season begins. So we decided to go on Sydney's most popular coastal trail, the Koji to Bondi Coastal Walk during the weekend. Instead of driving, we decided to take the public transport as we want to allow plenty of time to enjoy the walk at a leisurely pace without thinking of the hourly cost for parking. We first took a train to Central Station, then headed to Elizabeth Street to catch bus 372 that brought us to the starting point of the trail, the Kuji Beach. Kuji Beach is one of Australia's oldest beachside suburb and just recently, it has unveiled this new beachside rainbow walkway in support of diversity, inclusivity, and equality with the local LGBTQI community. Kuji is surrounded by natural, shallow rock pools perfect for wading or cooling down on a hot day. It was cloudy, windy, and there were strong water currents so there weren't a lot of people around the ocean pools that day. Bay. After walking a few hundred meters, we've reached the Gordons Bay where we found a lovely spot where we could take photos of the old fishing boats on the shore. Our next stop was Clavelli Beach. It is a small and serene beach located at the end of a narrow bay. Shark Point is located on the north side of Clavelli Bay. It is considered as one of the best dive sites in Sydney. We spent a few minutes here taking photos and videos of the ocean waves crashing on the rocks. If you've enjoyed the scenery in our walk so far, the views on our next stop will surely take your breath away as we enter the Bronte Kuji Aquatic Reserve. The Waverley Cemetery is a heritage-listed cemetery on top of the cliffs at Bronte. The cemetery is noted for its largely intact Victorian and Edwardian monuments. But what really caught our attention was the beautiful coastal views taken from the timber pathway called the Sesquicentenary Boardwalk. So much to the pulse again. 
cold on the love, but it's frost and it's time. March, but a light from a falling sky. Fly to the forces above us, like. Hold on to this present time. Inspired by the ones that were left behind us. We fell for the light of a falling sky. Fly to the forces above us, like. Our next stop was Bronte Beach. The beach is one of the most popular and loved beaches in the eastern suburb. Riley and I would usually do short coastal walks from Bondi to Bronte before heading to a cafe for our morning coffee. But this time, we decided to do the full track from Kuji. Tamarama Beach sits between Bondi and Bronte with just 80 meters of shoreline. A nice small cafe can be found in the Tamarama Park if you would like to take a short break from the walk. While walking along the track, we saw a glimpse of the rainbow near the water at Mackenzie Point. Let us know in the comment section below if you can see it too. So that is Bondi. And there I was, just enjoying the views of the ocean waves of coast while Riley was taking beautiful photos at the top. But I think he got a bit jealous, so he decided to join in the fun. Hello! And at last, we've reached Bondi, one of Sydney's largest beaches and the closest ocean beach to the city center. Definitely one of my favorite beaches, I'd have to say. I mean, just look at those breathtaking views. Picture perfect in every angle. Kuji to Bondi walk. Now we 
see all this graffiti art. One art. After the walk to reward ourselves, we craved for some Nutella frappe, so we immediately went to Bondi Cafe. We then had lunch at Raya Restaurant in Bondi Junction, ordered this delicious looking beef bibimbap and their chicken teriyaki bento. I'd have to say that Japanese lunch was a lot, but 100% really good. We also did use one of our NSW dining vouchers, so that's less $25 off the bill. We decided to take the ferry on our way home, so we can enjoy the beautiful views of Sydney Harbour Bridge, Sydney Opera House, and other city landmarks that we don't get to see that often anymore since working from home. Finally ended the day with this beautiful view of the Parramatta River from our home's winter garden. If you would like to follow our road trip adventures in Australia and travels around the world, then please subscribe to our channel so you get notified when a new video is up. Thanks for watching!